Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today you guys I'm going to be sharing my best 2020 skincare and a little bit of makeup. I thought that I will sit down and sum up my favorite products from this year because obviously this year is coming to an end and what a year it has been. Uh, crazy, just crazy. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like I am feeling very festive this year. I'm actually not feeling festive at all, surprisingly. Uh, normally I am that person who puts the Christmas tree up um, first, but this year, Somehow I just didn't feel Christmassy at all. I haven't got a tree. Um, maybe because I'm not able to go and see my family. Um, I kind of like written off this year in a little bit, in, in a way, not in a negative way, but you know, I'm, I'm ready for, for what's to come, basically. I know that there are a lot of exciting things that will be happening next year. I'm sitting down to talk about one of my favorite things, skincare and body care and all things lotions and potions. Um, my favorite thing. So we will dive straight in. I've got a little box right in front of me. I will start pulling things out. I'm going to get um, a product that is probably most mentioned 2020 product on my channel is the Aurelia Cell Repair Night Oil. I have been talking about this so much and if you have been watching my channel because of massages, or you just do a lot of massages uh, of mine, you will know about this product because this is pretty much the oil that I will use for massages, especially if I'm doing them in the evening, but sometimes actually during the day too, I find it an incredibly nourishing, non-clogging, beautiful oil. Um, it's from a brand Aurelia. They are a cruelty-free vegan brand and they are based on probiotics and probiotics are so beneficial for your skin as much as they are for your gut as well. Oh my god, my cat is walking on the stove. Kitty! This has the most magical scent. It has neroli, it has lavender. Um, it's just so beautiful. It's rich, but it's not greasy. It doesn't leave a film on, and it's a perfect oil for massage. I actually have a discount code for Aurelia, so I will leave it in the description box. Um, below this is definitely not an upsell this is um one of my absolute favorite brands it's a beautiful female owned brand uk based and they're just magical the things that they do um, and the way that they support their communities as well so definitely my top my top top uh, top five i would say i don't know what my fringe is doing today i didn't do my hair uh and i don't really mind i am totally allowing it to be rogue um after the holiday it's kind of got a little bit blonder as well so a vitamin c serum i have found a vitamin c serum that i really really like and it's the daily vitamin c from omarovisa omarovisa is definitely on a pricier side as far as um prices go um, but I have to say that this has been pretty beautiful on the skin I use this in the morning it comes with a dropper it comes in a glass bottle so you just unscrew it and then it comes in a dropper so it's just beautiful almost like light fluid that you apply or lotion and um, it's not greasy sinks in straight away and I have definitely noticed that my skin got brighter since I started using it I also have the colostrum gel oh my god no so this little terrorist just picked up a sponge from the sink hi kitty and then dragged it out of the sink and then dropped it on the floor is it bright is it too bright for you Baba you little terrorist honestly like it's chaos when these two are around it's absolute chaos anyways so next product I wanted to mention is the colostrum gel from Environ if you suffer from sensitivity or any kind of redness on your face um, this is really really good I have redness on my cheeks quite regularly it kind of flares up depending what I have eaten um, kind of depends on different things, but I have noticed it flare up quite a bit this year. Uh, this is quite a nice um, light cream that you apply in the areas of concern. It also has um, rosemary, rosemary, that's a new word I just invented, rosemary leaf extract. And I find it really, really helpful when that redness flares up. Okay, another product that you would probably see quite a bit on my channel and I have to include it is the Ole Henriksen Goodnight Glow and um, this is a Retin Alt sleeping cream so this is, has um, this has Bakutrol 
uh, which is a nice alternative to retinol. Retinol is a vitamin A. Um, it's kind of like wide known that it's a fantastic ingredient as far as anti-aging goes, uh, wrinkles, texture of the skin. So this is a really good alternative. It doesn't dry your skin out as much as retinol can, depending what kind of retinol you are using. If you're using prescription retinol especially, that can cause quite a lot of dryness and flakiness on the skin. This is fantastic. Every time I use it overnight, you know, I apply it after my evening routine, I wake up with baby soft skin and that's why I really, really love it. Um, it's this beautiful purple lavender color. I am almost out of this. There's literally maybe a couple days more left here, um, but I will definitely be repurchasing. I have repurchased this before and I really, really love it. Okay, moving on, a cleanser. Uh, I wanted to mention the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I own so many different cleansers. Um, Aurelia Miracle Cleanser and this cleanser are my two favorite cleansers. These are the ones that stand in the bathroom, front and center, the ones that I reach for every evening, sometimes morning. I am not really um, that big on cleansing in the morning because I never find that my skin needs that extra cleanse. Sometimes water is absolutely enough, but if I feel like my skin is feeling oily or greasy, I will reach for this or the Aurelia one because they're both incredibly gentle. It's great for normal to dry skin. This is so, so, so affordable. CeraVe in general are such a great brand. They have really good ingredients list such an affordable price available in all the drugstores so 100% recommend this one and it's great that it comes in a pump and you get so much product another product that is fantastic that you can get in drugstore is the La Roche Posay Effaclair the one that I have here is the one with the tint I own both I have the one without the tint and the one with the tint the one without the tint I use on the days where I feel like my skin is a little bit fussy, I'm breaking out, I can feel the spots coming, it's that time of the month, you know, I'm feeling hormonal, or I had too much chocolate, had too much wine, this is what I will use. Uh, it is such a great anti-imperfection cream. It is super light. Um, you can go with a heavy moisturizer or an oil on top of this. Sometimes I find that it's enough, it just depends on how my skin is feeling then. Um, this one has a tint, so they have a light, a medium and dark, I think, colors for this. I have the light one and it's really lovely. It's almost like a BB cream, it's super light. You know, the coverage is pretty minimal, but sometimes that's all you need. I am not a big makeup girl. You guys know I have a few makeup products that I am mentioning today, but they are pretty much the only makeup products I use. So I'm not that big on makeup. So this sometimes is totally enough for me as far as coverage goes. Another thing for sensitive skin is something that I only started using this year because pretty much most of the products that I have shown you except the vitamin C serum I have used uh, before 2020. I have been using them before. They have been my like tried and tested companions, my sidekicks, and I just keep repurchasing them. This is a new addition to my skincare collection and to my skincare routine. This is the Fitter Correct um, Corrective fluid from SkinCeuticals. So this is hydrating, soothing fluid for sensitive skin. Um, this is so light and again I use it just on my cheeks usually or sometimes on my jawline when I'm treating uh, spots. It's really nice to add that extra hydration and extra, extra calming and soothing effect, especially if you're using something with zinc oxide or, you know, you're doing spot treatments. Um, this is really lovely. It's this beautiful green bright color. Moving on, eye cream. The only eye cream really that I use is the Aurelia one. This is the brightening eye serum. It's this beautiful little baby bottle. Uh, comes with a pump. It's glass. Um, this is so lovely and moisturizing, but also this contains Arnica. Arnica extract is absolutely fantastic for bruises, any kind of darkness, any kind of, um, any kind of puffiness and any kind of swelling. So I'm trying to get my, literally like, you can, you can see my brain working, trying to get my words out. And it's kind of, it's that kind of day to day. 
Um, and it's actually quite late. It's really late, but I am determined to, <laughs> to film this video. So the Anika extract is really amazing to use around your eyes if you get those dark circles and you get that puffiness. This also has shea butter, which is moisturizing and nourishing. And of course it has probiotics. So love it, love it, love it. Okay, diving in deeper, a little device, uh, a new face. Um, I love my new face. I am kind of newly introduced to it. When I say newly, I mean it has been three months, probably four months that I have been using it. Um, you guys know I am all for massage and kind of muscle stimulation and stimulating the blood flow as well. And this is a great device to create muscle memory in your face. You have to be quite religious using it. Uh, because as soon as you will stop using microcurrents, your face will kind of go back to normal. So if you want to see like really good results, you have to use it on a regular basis. I haven't been as regular with it yet, but I have to say that I do massages and other devices as well that I feel like I can uh, alternate them. So and that I find that enough. But I really like going in an upward motion around the neck. Then I go into the cheekbones, lifting the cheekbones. And I kind of get into those nasal labial folds a little bit as well. And then go in an upward motion on my forehead too. So it comes with a gel. New Face um, have their own conductive gel. But it's very expensive for what it is. And I also don't particularly like to leave it on my skin. So I actually wash it off. So it's a waste of money. So... I have purchased a conductive gel on Amazon and I use that and maybe it's not as effective, I'm not sure, uh, but I just find that it's such a waste of money to be buying the new face, especially if you're washing it off. It just doesn't particularly agree with my skin, but as a device, it's really, really good. Continuing with kind of the devices, I have to mention my Gua Sha. Um, mine is from Hey You Method. I will leave the link to everything that I'm mentioning today below. Um, this is my favorite gua sha. It's large, it's got beautiful smooth edges, it's just nice and kind of weighty in your hand and I just really like it. Like a gua sha is kind of a personal thing. Um, they come in so many different shapes and sizes and angles etc. I really like the very traditional one. I have shared uh, gua sha massages with you guys before. If you haven't seen them, if you want to try them, I will leave the link to it below. So definitely give it a try because it's just amazing for lifting, for promoting that blood flow, for bringing new blood to your skin, but also working on that lymphatic drainage, draining the toxins out and also lifting, sculpting the face. It's great for um, acupressure points. If you get some sinuses, congestions, allergies, this is really good headaches you can use it on your body as well i really like using it on my neck and on my shoulders so yes absolute must have for me definitely a favorite from 2020 okay let's see what else i have got i have a mask um again this is a product that has probably made it into my top 2020 top 2019 18 it's the shantikai jasmine and lily healing mask i love 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 this mask so much it is nourishing it's hydrating it's calming it is great for people with rosacea it can be great for uh, people with sensitive skin of course it's all very personal skincare is so personal that you know it's hard to recommend something for everybody so a patch test is always a good idea um, but I've been using this for so long and anytime I feel like I just need that extra, that little bit of extra because it's also quite expensive, I will reach for this. Such a good Christmas gift as well if you want to give it to somebody. Okay, moving on, I have another uh, another ride or die really. Sarah Chapman Skinesis, this is the overnight facial. This is an absolute um, treasure chest of ingredients. It is beautiful, it's rich, it's so nourishing for your skin. It's got so many amazing ingredients. Vitamin A, C, E, it's got alpha lipolic acid, Abyssinian oil, Speaking of Abyssinians, I've got two here, melon oil, hemp seed oil, baobab oil, jojoba seed oil, so many beautiful ingredients. Um, just the most gorgeous, soft baby skin when you have used this. Again, 
a gorgeous gift to give to your mom, sister, brother, whoever is into skincare, or maybe they don't know that they're into skincare yet and they just need to try this. Okay, an exfoliating product. I haven't really mentioned many toners or exfoliants. Uh, I definitely more of a chemical exfoliator person than a physical. I very rarely use scrubs and even then if I use scrubs they usually have some kind of like enzyme um, and maybe rice powder or something like this old brand is quite gentle on the skin um, but when it comes to chemical chemical exfoliants I'm a big fan of acids, glycolic, lactic, uh, pretty much in my routine every other day. I don't use acids every day but every other day and this one, the Kate Somerville Liquid Exfoliate. This is a triple acid treatment, so it's great, like a resurfacing treatment. Um, works great for the texture of the skin. So because it has a uh, I use it in the evening, and then um, in the morning I will definitely apply sun cream. Anytime you use any kind of acids and exfoliants, I would remind you to use your sun cream. Okay, team, I've got a body product, um, the Aurelia Body replenishing body serum I love this this is light this is beautiful I am that person who hates hates sticky products I cannot go to bed if my skin feels sticky if I get into bed and I touch my legs together and my skin is feeling sticky I have to go re-shower and then get back into bed because I cannot stand that feeling this sinks into the skin beautifully. This also has bergamot, which is one of my favorite scents in perfumes, candles, oils, anything. I love this. And what I like to do in winter months is bronze up a little bit. I am not big on tanning at all. If you ask me um, what are the best tanning products, I wouldn't be able to tell you because I have never self-tanned like a full-on self-tan. This is the only thing I use. So it's the Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. So it's little drops that you add into your moisturizer. I also have the face version of this, which is a tiny one, and you put it into your face cream and then you apply it. And it just gives you that warmer kind of skin that you had before. And um, no streaks. Don't forget to wash your hands because it does and can stain if you don't wash your hands but it doesn't leave any streaks on the body or on the face. At least I have never experienced that. So these two are an absolute dream team of mine when it comes to body care and keeping me not looking like, you know, half dead person. A mask, another mask, very different to the Shantikai one. This is the uh, Omoravisa cleansing mask. This is a mud-based mask. This is where I reach for where my skin is feeling oily, it's feeling like it's having a really not a great day. Uh, I feel like breakouts are coming. Sometimes I will spot treat uh, my, my spots with this. So I will only apply it on those areas or I just use it on my T-zone. Okay, let's get to makeup. A mascara that I will never imagine my life without is the Kevin Aquan The Volume Mascara. This has fibers that make your lashes longer. But my favorite thing about this is that it doesn't smudge. It cannot smudge because it, even when you wash it off, it basically comes off in strings. It doesn't come off as like a patch of color. It comes off in strings. So it never, ever, ever smudges. And that is my most favorite thing about this. It has a nice like small brush that you can really get into your lashes with. It, beautiful, like rich color. Um, honestly, absolute best that I have ever found. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is the Hourglass palettes. I am a very big fan of Hourglass palettes. I have got two here that I wanted to show you and it's a perfect gift to yourself or to a loved one. So I have a six pan here and a four pan. The six pans are quite difficult to get a hold of sometimes because they usually sell out so quickly. I actually own three of them because anytime I see one on sale I take it um, because I just really love them. Like this is all I carry with me usually like a BB cream, this mascara and a brow gel because you can use these as eyeshadows. You have bronzers, powders, highlighters, you have uh, blushes, and you can just multi-use them on your face, which I really love. They're on a pricier side. 
Hence, I think that it's a great present. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all about any products that I have mentioned, or any questions in general, video requests, anything like that, please let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful time and getting ready for the festivities, whatever you're doing. Let me know how you're spending your Christmas, where are you going, who are you spending it with. I wish you all a wonderful day, a wonderful week, um, whatever you're doing. And I hope to see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.